Hey guys, so I, uh, my name is Sound of a Gap and this is Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Welcome back to a new episode and in this one we are finally confronting Caldwell in Tesla Castle and we will get our revenge. But then we will have to get out of the castle pretty quickly and then yeah we are back in the swamp. And from here on out it's actually pretty difficult and pretty disgusting as well. Because we'll encounter a bunch of parasites and have to do our first standard battle on, uh, on the north side of the castle. And this is against some monsters and it's, I wanna say, it's getting tougher with, with each and every fight. Yeah, and then it's already done for today and then we will continue next week. So guys, please enjoy. All right then, let's go inside. Yes, continue. In Angren swamps, one can easily lose one's way. Thick fog fills the air, paths end without warning, dense thickets obscure the distance. The sole way to determine one's position is to climb a tree and peer out over the canopy. This duty fell to Meave scouts while the force halted below. During one such delay, Meave caught the words she'd longed to hear. Majesty! Tuzla Castle! Its tower! I see it! To her soldier's astonishment, Meave cast off her gauntlets and started up the nearest trunk. She longed to see the castle for herself, but then she would know sweet vengeance was at hand. The mm. climb proved tricky as the trunk was slippery and the branches, run through with rot, were frail. Yet Meave showed herself to be skillful and spry. As a child, she had loved to scale trees, much to her governess dismay. Meave looked out to see a mighty stone tower outlined against the horizon. Legend holds Tuzla Castle was to have had three such bastions. Yet King Ragbard, the fort's benefactor, had forsaken the effort when yet another stone transport simply sank into Angren's boggy roads. It was a moment of respite for Meave, a moment of quiet joy. She breathed and tasted air free of the bog stench. She <laughs> took in silence undisturbed by the hum of mosquito swarms. And she relished her prospects. The coming battle against Caldwell. Oh yeah. Of course take the castle. The Let's go. stood exhausted and filthy. Many with raspy coughs, all sick of the meager gruel. But with the command to advance, a new strength sparked within them. Their step was lively, a fire burned in their eyes, each hoping to spill Caldwell's entrails, then dash them upon the fort walls. Yet as they drew near the stronghold, perched atop a stone aisle, their verve dwindled, enthusiasm waned. They had taken fortresses with thicker walls, taller towers, and manned by more men. Yet they'd never seen nor laid siege to a fort standing on land so ill-suited. To rush the bulwarks through waist-deep mud. Was this even possible? Prove I was no fool to keep you at my side, said Meave, turning to Gascon and Reynard. A slaughter I must avoid. How will I do it? Your Grace, began Reynard. Set our machines to sling boulders. At the west wall, it's weakest. It is our best chance at a breach. Our men will need cover, added Gascon. Reeds we must harvest and burn. Smoke will cloak us. Conceal us from the castle's defenders. Good, agreed the Queen. Now get to work. Amidst billowing blue smoke, Lyrian footmen rushed through the breach wrought by Reynard's catapults. Though she had yet to forgive her companions, Meave had to admit they'd given her sound advice. And here we go. Doesn't mean we are using catapults again. The Siege of Tuzla. Caldwell was nowhere to be seen, which hadn't surprised Meave in, uh, in the least. The Count never fought on the front. Instead, he preferred to stay back to galvanize the men by shouting encouragement and brandishing his sword. A blade that rarely tasted blood. Story battle shortened. Let's do this. Ah, I can see some palisades, so we will have to destroy a gate again. Okay, this seems to be good. 
I knew you'd come. Your lofty pride presages another dramatic fall. Cease a random. Life is mine now. Are you kidding? You're already starting with a seizing an enemy. One of my guys he has a cooldown of five. Uh, will he still attack my guys? I don't hope. I really hope he doesn't do that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. This one is hurting. We need to attack the gate. What do we have here? Catapult parts. No ability. I have my flail. Why do I have catapult parts but no ability? Hmm. Weird. Okay, uh... They will attack. I need to destroy the gate. Every time from start, boost a random ally by two and give it two armor. Hmm. Oh, I have the banner. Damn it. Why don't I have... Oh, ah, yeah, I, I didn't take Manticore. Hmm. So how should we start? Actually, I'm gonna start with Gabor. I'm gonna play him. Reduce the health or the armor of the gate by 15 already. Then take him back with my decoy and do it again. And she's gonna hurt the gate as well. And then as soon as this gate is down, we will focus on the guys back here. I think this might be a best idea. All right, Gabor. You sure about that? Actually, she could attack the gate herself. Sure. Oh no. Every time I want to start damage the highest power enemy unit by 5 if its power is an even number. Okay, that one is uneven. We're gonna take him back. Keep him for later. And end our turn. Wise choice. Yeah, they're gonna kill him. Pretty sure. Pretty soon. And to be honest... Yeah, let's start with this one. Try it at least a little bit. And on we go. No, actually, have this one again. Nice, and with the next time when I play Gabor, the gate is down. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Two more rounds and Caldwell has his power back. Gonna play a stray bomber soon as well. But for now, it's Gabor once more. Oh, good murder, Pike. And we can hurt by one. Mm. Let's just hurt this one. Nice. So he's gonna seize uh, him soon. Him. Order! Another one. Alright, now we're gonna play our bomber to the back row again. And then use her ability on this guy on the front. Yeah. Although I could just Yeah yeah, let's just do that. This could hurt. She's hurting by three, so she can't kill anyone. Ah! On we go. He's gonna play in the front again. And then he's gonna shoot three times. Yeah, thought so he's gonna take him. Draw a Lyrian and a Nilfgaardian unit. Aha. Good, this one is dead. So, now we're gonna play this card and heal my guys. They're gonna kill Gabor pretty soon, fairly certain. Drawing two more cards, are you joking? Hmm. I 
I'm gonna play him, but I won't use this ability yet. Yeah. It's still uneven, this is fine. Uh, you can stay up here. They are, they are and we are gonna attack those guys. Nice. Okay, this one is boosting. Mm. Gonna play another Stray Slinger. And wait for the next round. Okay, now. Now is good as time as any. Mm. Yeah, let's... Hurt these three and move those two back. Nice. Uh, he just has one more round and then he's gonna seize, I think, one of these guys. So I need to play him next time. Oh, I still have to play a card. Xavier. Yeah, he's gonna stay here. And then we're gonna see who we will give those orders. Ah. Well, that's not good. Can I attack this one? No, I can't. And I do have to play a card. This is bad. This is really bad. Can I just hurt him by two at least? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Ah, too bad. That was a waste. Oh, he's taking him. That's fine. God save the queen. Play a copy of this unit from your deck. Aha. So, then we're gonna hurt these, <laughs> hmm, actually, 10 and 5, I have to play this card nonetheless, so I'm gonna play it right now, yeah, didn't hurt the other one, okay, hmm, Okay, I can't use my orders, because there's nothing else I can do. I just use her ability, and then pass. That was all I can do. He has three cards. I'm up by 44. This might be enough, maybe. This guy's not coming out, because I'm not playing another playable card. Oh, if, he's a, if he's using a loyal ability. And he will have to see someone he can't see. Oh shit, this is close. 30, okay. Nice. No one touch him. The count is mine. Many of Meave's victories have been immortalized in poetry and song. But not the fall of Tuzla. Lyrians fought Lyrians. Brothers killed brothers in rain and mud. Midst a cursed swamp. Certainly nothing to inspire a bard. Near the battle's end, Meave stormed the great stone tower to which Caldwell had fled. The queen ascended the stairs, dealing blow after blow, blood cascading down in her wake. She reached the top floor to find the Count waiting, with no intention to defend himself. Oh, really? If it's mercy you expect, you'll be sorely disappointed. Oh, yeah. Mercy. I know you all too well for that, Meave. Ever vindictive and cruel. You started it, you... <sighs> all this from a paragon of knightly virtues. You stabbed me in the back, Coldwell. Mm -hmm. And used Willem to do so. My son! Who agreed without a moment's hesitation? Forsaken by your own son. Your flesh and blood. What's that say about you? Oh, you tread on thin ice. Choose your next words carefully. Spare me your threats. You'll kill me all the same. Yeah, definitely. Death can come in many ways, Count. Some quick, some slow. <laughs> my, my. How you strut and vaunt. Terribly sure of yourself. Yeah, of course. Not too sure. No. Your castle is mine. I've crushed your force. I dare say no, I'm not. Precisely my point. Don't you see? The Empire's not one army, it's dozens, hundreds. 
It's what I strove to knock into that thick dome of yours. Alas, you're too much a dullard. <laughs> Soon as I'd learned you'd crossed into Angren, I sent for reinforcements. They'll be here soon. Three regiments, armed to the T. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy them too. I shall be long gone. I'll face them too and win. Yes, let's no go for this. Seem ever to have the upper hand. Yet I find the means to defeat them. Yeah. Not this time, Eve. Nilfgaard comes in numbers. Ten Imperial footmen to each and every one of yours. J just footmen. You'll not so? win. Nor can you flee. Do you know why? Indulge me. Enlighten me. I dare you. But one bridge leads to Tuzla. As it happens, I ordered it raised as you laid siege. So? Then we just put it back down again. We just won, we just conquered the castle. The swamps around the castle are too deep to cross. Try to rebuild the bridge, the Imperial troops will arrive before you can finish. Your men, they'll slay as you watch, and then they'll wring your neck. Wait, you destroyed the bridge? That means you are in a dead end yourself. Okay. I wouldn't be so pleased were I you. You won't live to see this outcome. <laughs> I know that. But I take heart in the truth. Though the castle you've seized and will likely kill me, I've won. <laughs> Outsmarted you, Meeve. Twice now. No. And you know what? It wasn't even that hard. Is it really outsmarting when you're die in the end. You think you win by dying? That seems rather odd. With those words, with his arrogance and contempt, Caldwell had gone too far. The queen gripped his shoulders, pushed. Caldwell stumbled backwards, then tripped out the window. A blood-chilling shriek filled the courtyard, then broke off abruptly. Now fool me thrice. Mm -hmm. Try. Meave slapped the dust from her hands. The traitor had met a deserving end at last. Yet this was no time to revel in the Count's demise. If Caldwell had spoken the truth, the Queen and her army were in grave danger. Neve scouts quickly confirmed the traitor's claim. The bridge was indeed in flames, and Nilfgaardian regiments were advancing from the south. Now to confirm if there was truly no other route by which they could flee. The Queen ordered her men to ask the local peasants. One of their number, a stable hand who'd lived near Tuzla all his life, claimed a secret path led out the back of the stronghold. I was expecting that, because as far as I know, nearly every stronghold has a secret pass passageway. Something underground, maybe, just to get out if everything goes wrong. There has to be a way out. King Ragbard himself ordered it built. Adam dropped great stones into its swamp, one after another like beads on a string. Bitter water covers them, so you can't see nowt at start. You can make them out if you go proper slow, though. <sighs> what is it? The stones. They lead to Isgith. And there, my lady, lurks an evil worse nor any black-clad army. What? A beast of some sort? Some say beast. Others, god. Gernicora, they call her. Mm. And you'll yet see, my lady. Isgit shines red with your blood. Hmm, I heard of this name before by those guys who were doing the um the blood ritual, right? A silly tale to frighten children, Meave thought at first. Then paused. For something about the man's voice made his every word believable. None too encouraging. Yet preferable to certain death. Tell me, from Isgith. Will we reach the banks of the Yuruga, near Red Lobindon, perchance? Aye, Your Majesty. You need but head north. And pray all along the way. Okay. Then let's do that. Soon, Meave stood where the stable hand had said she should, at the edge of a vast marsh. Carefully, she dipped a foot into the broth and probed for solid ground. Sure enough, she found stone. One cautious step, then another. Meave slowly strode off towards Isgith. Just Meave or the whole convoy? Oh, we have a new card. Reinforcements. Aha, gonna take a look in just a bit. Or actually, right now, 
Uh, revenge is best served cold. Cold well, <laughs> probably. Uh, morale is back to normal. All right, before we take a look at the card, let's take a look at the reports from the bottom starting. Um, Letter from Abdahi to Palatine Caldwell from Duke Adal, Abdahi, Grand Chancellor, Commander of Army Group East. I've denied your request to return to Lyria. Admittedly, your argument that, as a young ruler, King Willem needs the support of an experienced statesman is entirely grounded. I assure you, however, that if the need arises, I personally shall advise the king. At the present moment, your talents are more useful in Angren. As you know, the Emperor places great import on the timely delivery of building materials to our shipyards. I thus advise you to make meeting his expectations your priority. No delays, no matter the reason, will be tolerated. Oh well, now he's dead. And a report, Nilfgaardian reinforcements. Count Cordwell speaks truth. Scouts report, powerful Nilfgaardian army marching from south. Foragers riding ahead, requisitioning enough food for 6-7 regiments, plus cavalry and war machines. We stand no chance against such strength. Immediate retreat advised. Alright, now let's take a look at the card. There it is. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from your deck. Hmm... That's not too bad, because if I have to win by... Um, by power alone... I could just have one Scytheman... On my hand, or do I have to have him on my hand even? Then I could just play all Lyrian Scythemen, for example, in the first round already and boost them already just like that. That would be... Not too bad. Or if you take like uh, regiment drummers and you then use their order abilities, you can even have more guys on the battlefield. For if you don't need power, for example, but just a bunch of guys at the beginning that they can hurt and stuff. This isn't too bad. So now we are outside. Uh, we have to leave Isgith. Isgit. So now we are north of here. We can't go back to the shrine. This is too bad. I would have liked to do so. Um, yeah, I've seen a bunch of stuff already around here. I have to go all the way. And then there, there's the main quest. And it looks like it will lead... ...to this little town, and then we might have to use a boat and flee. I don't know. Can I go here? I'm not quite sure. Alright then, let's just get started, and... ...we'll see what happens next. With the path to Isgith hidden from view, Meave proceeded like one blind, moving solely by touch. With each step, she could not know if she would find rock or plunge beneath the black water's surface. The Queen's soldiers followed single file, carefully mirroring her every move. The Lyrians, near the end of their strength, got lucky when a light breeze dispersed the fog to reveal dry land. The Queen let out a sigh of relief. <sighs> At last. Meave kicked off her boots to empty them of water and mud, then promptly screamed. Ah! Her legs were in leeches, slimy, bloated Ew. leeches. Ignoring the pain and trickling blood, she frantically tore them from her legs, wishing to be rid of them. Having plucked the last parasite from her calf, Meave grabbed her boot to crush the bloodsucker beneath her heel. Yet it had already slithered off. She spotted it on the trunk of a birch where, like a very fast snail, it was climbing. Mm hmm. What the devils? But Meeve's words caught in her throat. Leeches and ticks in the dozens dangled from the tree's branches. Oh my god. Some were so gorged on blood that their skin was translucent and on the point of bursting. You. Meeve had some difficulty muting the urge to wretch. The fruit of this gift. She muttered now savvy to the peasants' warnings, understanding why they never ventured into these marshes. Hmm, okay. Ugh, oh, goddammit, my morale went down. Ah. So the next battle will be pretty difficult. 
Uh, actually, let's take a look. Is there a battle coming up? Don't see it yet. And there's no shrine either. Hmm. Alright. Then let's see. Yeah. Before we go on, let's just do this one. Hmm. This is gonna be difficult. Lights in the fog. Oh no, don't tell me here's fog. Don't tell me there's fog. I don't have a pathfinder with me. Hmm. The fog above the swamp's dark waters began to thicken, enveloping the entire retinue in a milky haze, obscuring their path. Fearing disastrous missteps, Meave ordered a halt to the march, yet would not allow a moment of respite to Annie. She commanded infantry to circle the camp, standing shield to shield. The arbalists kept a watchful eye, sweaty hands tightly gripping at their at their weapons. Then, em, emit, emdist, emidst, Amidst the fog, <laughs> they saw as eerie lights began to flash all around them. Standard battle, so at least two rounds. Yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty difficult, so let's try this. Whew. This might be good, it might be bad. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna try this with these guys for the beginning. Yeah. Do I have to start? I have. As always, trap out first. Although I could have played this one already. Hmm, what, what does he have? Every four turns on turn start, destroy the lowest unit or units, then damage a random enemy by the power of the destroyed units. Okay, so at the moment it would be these two and they would destroy- and that would hurt by ten. Oof. What? Every turn on turn end boosts self by two if impenetrable fog is on the battlefield. There is none so far. Okay. Um, to be honest, I'm gonna play a stray bomber right away. Or should I heal first? Nah. Catch! Use fire and then hit him. Nice. Deed. Good. All are gone so far. Oh, come on. He has fiends as well. <sighs> Alright. Um, hmm. I want to keep this for the second round because there will be another one. <sighs> Barnabas. Might be taken for the next round. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get my bomber back already. Yeah. And there is fog. Shite. Shite. Ah, uh, what does fog do? Return to start damage the highest unit on this row by two. So I could still keep him, but I have to hurt somebody else. Then it would be a stray slinger. Yeah, actually, let's do that. I want to keep this guy still. Just to inflict some more damage. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. Store, and hurt side. these two and hit my manticore trophy. He's gonna hurt by two, probably. Yep. Oof, 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 oof. What? Who's left by two if I'm on the battlefield? Ah, shit. Okay. Mm. I can use her ability. I do have to play another card nonetheless, so let's play this one down here. Push them back. Nice. And I could kill two more with his ability. Or they might just die by the fire. He's gonna boost himself. Yeah, I'm gonna keep his ability for the next round. Yeah. Ah, close to death. Yep, yeah, good choice. Good choice. Uh, yeah, I have to play another Stray Slinger. I don't want to play the others. And we're gonna kill those two up there and put this one to the back row. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Please. Please, just... Just... Pass. No, he's not passing. 
<sighs> Shite. Have to have to play another card. Hmm. Should I take the bomber? I still have one on my deck. He might be useful to the end. Yeah, yeah, let's take the bomber. He's gonna die anyways. I smell a leak. Do it like this, and do it like this. Oh, this was a mistake. Hmm, ah well. He might still pass, please. Yes, he passed, okay. Well then, this is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna pass as well and keep my other guys for the next round. There's the bomber, nice. Another trap, this is good, but I'm gonna switch the Scytheman. I need someone to attack. Yeah, just one Stray Slinger. This is all I can do. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I have to finish this. Let's go. So, once again, we will start with the Pitfall Trap in the back. This is gonna be pretty difficult. So I could move this one back. I'm gonna put some fire in the back row as well. Yup. You mad? Don't shake that. Help! Then I'm gonna go for my drink. This guy's gonna kill him. Unless I move him with my slinger. Which would be a waste. Shit. Or I kill him with this one, which is also a waste. This would be a waste. Although, yeah, this would be a waste as well. I'm gonna kill him. Although I'm not killing him, I'm just reducing his health by one. Yeah, let's put him here. Thing about slings, they hide well. One, two, and three. I could have killed him with a trap, but I want to keep the trap up there. So don't play another vampire. Halfing, okay. I think next is going to be Barnabas. Whoa. Ooh, can I even win this round? This is not looking good. Yeah, let's move them back already. Good. And yeah, we're gonna play Barnabas. Up here. Feel any burning? See a local healer or wise woman. Oh, I need this. I need random bronze units from each deck just to have some more cards. If I need power. I could go for my stray slinger back or for the bomber. I could go for the bomber for the front row. Nah. Let's take two random cards. Yes, a slinger. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is nice. I'm um, gonna put him here. Uh, what did he do? This guy? Um, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna play him back here. Every time to start, drain the lowest enemy by one. This is nice. Gonna keep his ability for the next round. They're not doing anything. At the moment, no. Still have these two, okay. That wasn't, that was actually good. Barnabas, that was really good. Yeah, we need to move this guy. Mm, who's he gonna take? With the highest power in self. Shit. I have to kill him. I have to kill him, otherwise he would get either him, which would be bad, or if I put him to the back row, he would get him, which would be even worse. So, yeah, we're gonna kill him. It's a waste, but... I have to play a card anyways, so... I'm gonna move him and him and... Doesn't matter, actually, this one. Okay. And the last round for me. Okay. 
Yeah, so we're gonna kill this one and hurt this one by two. That's all I can do. And pass. This should be a win. Please. Yeah, yeah, we're still boosting. Yeah, yeah, this is a win. Yeah, very nice. Whew. So, ladder? Probably not. There hasn't been a ladder for quite some time when I killed someone. But there's something here. Milady, in the cottage we found a wooden figure carved to your likeness. There's a noose around its neck and a knife in its back. Hmm, like, um, voodoo. Voodoo doll. It's deeply troubled the men. They say you've been cursed, that death is sh that death shadow looms over you. Let them say what they will, we've no time for this, we must ride on, Nino. Prepare a small pyre. This effigy will shall we shall burn, show them I am unafraid. It will just cost wood, but wood is... Hmm? Increase your pay. The pay I find that typical help typically helps morale. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go for the 200 gold. Nice.